Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Aspen Avionics expands through acquisitions. Cub Crafters introduces a unique builder assistance plan. The Pilot Proficiency Center is back at AirVenture this year. I'm Brie Cross, it is June 24th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Aspen Avionics expands in both territory and product capabilities with the announced acquisition of Accord Technology LLC from Accord India and Av Values LLC of Phoenix, Arizona. The acquisition has resulted in an expansion of the company's geographic footprint to include a new administrative and production facility in Phoenix, Arizona. John Yusakai will continue to lead the company as President and Chief Executive Officer. The name of the combined company remains Aspen Avionics. Accord Technology will operate as an Aspen Avionics company continuing to supply FAA-approved original equipment manufacturer GPS solutions to the aerospace industry. Support of its current client base will carry on as usual with licensed production. Hal Adams, founder of Av Values, has been named Executive Vice President of Business Development for the combined companies. He will be driving new business to include growing its highly successful NextNav product line. Cub Crafters has announced a new Builder Assist program called the Carbon Cub FX Builder Assist program. It allows the FX Builder to be rewarded with a new Carbon Cub certified as Experimental Amateur Built. Cub Crafters Jim Richmond said in part, quote, Carbon Cub FX turns the familiar Builder Assist convention upside down. Instead of assisting your assembly of parts from a kit, Cub Crafters technicians facilitate your fabrication of the parts themselves. Using our modern facilities and equipment, we will guide you through the fabrication process in an astoundingly short time. Then Cub Crafters will use your parts to assemble a factory perfect carbon cub, complete with all the options that you choose, end quote. FX Builders will spend five days at Cub Crafters headquarters constructing their aircraft. It involves five eight-hour days working with factory technicians fabricating and assembling steel, aluminum, and composite aircraft components. Cub Crafters uses the customer built components to assemble a nearly complete Carbon Cub FX. Approximately 50 days after the first build session, the builder returns to put the finishing touches on the aircraft, obtain certification, and have the airplane flown by company personnel. After the break, EAA joins others to promote pilot proficiency. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Flight instructors and aviation companies are joining forces during EAA AirVenture Oshkosh this year to bring back the EAA Pilot Proficiency Center and build on last year's success in improving pilot skills and enhancing safety. The center will feature Tech Talks, IFR, and VFR flight scenarios in Redbird flight simulators, the opportunity to talk with certified flight instructors, and more. The EAA Pilot Proficiency Center will continue to partner with the IMC Club. The Pilot Proficiency Center is open to all pilots and non-pilots who want to improve their flying skills and basic airmanship challenges and forum programs. Along with EAA and the IMC Club, 
The EAA Pilot Proficiency Center is supported by Jepson, Hartzell, Pilot Edge, Mindstar Aviation, and Redbird Flight Simulations. Members of the National Association of Flight Instructors and the Society of Aviation and Flight Educators will also assist at the facility which will be located just east of the FAA Control Tower on the Air Venture grounds. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. So I did first surf wings up to six feet span. If we updated this old lead into the television and radio Superman programs, the exclamation at the start of the show would go like this. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Jetman. In this video, Yves Rossi tells us how he became Jetman. Search It's Jetman on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, NTSB presents a safety seminar. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. On July 11th, the NTSB is presenting a seminar highlighting the lessons learned from accident investigations involving instructional flights. Statistically, an aspiring pilot is less likely to have an accident while training for a pilot certificate than after earning it. The Black Diamond Jet Team, a division of Draken International, has signed a letter of intent to upgrade to six L-39 aircraft to the Aeroboto Chody Next Generation platform. The L-39 NG upgrade adds many modern and advanced capabilities to the aircraft. The MBAA Charities has named Christina Henderlong as the first recipient of the Dale Potsy McBurney Aviation Scholarship. Henderlong is an executive flight attendant with the U.S. Air Force and serves with their fleet of Boeing 737 executive jets. Another local group hopes to force the FAA to revert back to approach and departure routes used prior to the next-gen approaches. The Santa Cruz, California group opposes, quote, the relentless jet noise caused by the FAA's new next-gen flight program, end quote. NASA has announced that Dr. David E. Bowles has been named director of NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. Bowles, who started his career at Langley in 1980, has been serving as the acting director since March of this year. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The full U.S. Senate voted Monday to confirm U.S. Coast Guard Vice Admiral Peter Neffinger as the next administrator of the TSA. Aviation organization leaders were quick to make comments regarding Neffinger's appointment. Gamma's Pete Bunce said of the confirmation, quote, Gamma applauds the Senate for quickly confirming Vice Admiral Neffinger to this important post. Vice Admiral Neffinger's extensive background in operations and security issues makes him an excellent choice to lead the TSA at a critical time for the agency, end quote. NATA's Thomas L. Hendricks added, quote, Administrator Neffinger's experience and commitment makes him an excellent choice to lead this important agency through a challenging period in its history, end quote. ARSA's Daniel B. Fisher congratulated Peter Neffinger on his confirmation to lead the Transportation Security Administration. 
And A4A's Nicole E. Calio said, quote, Vice Admiral Neffinger shares our commitment to the multi-layered approach to aviation security that has helped make air travel the safest form of intercity transportation in the United States." End quote. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.